Hello, welcome everybody again. Uh, we are going to review now uh, concepts of a gauge R&R or measurement system analysis. As, as we know, we are going to review in this, in this video the basic concept. So stay with us. It's going to be pretty interesting. So let's see first what is measurement system analysis. Measurement system analysis is a tool that we use to verify the accuracy of a measurement system. Just imagine that you go to the ATM to collect some money, withdraw the mo some money, and the measurement system, the ATM, has 5% error. But this error happened in the real life. So how we can determine how much error or measurement system has, that is the um, goal of a gauge r, &R tool. So remind that we need uh, to take effective decisions. We need correct data, true data, and reliable data. We need to, to rely and we need to trust in the data that we collect and we need to make sure that our system is repeatable and, and, and the measurements could be reproduced. We're gonna break the basic concepts in three. Three steps, that is the idea, the basic concepts that we need to know for uh, the gauge r, &R and the types of MSA. So, remember we need to believe in data but we need to relate the data. So this data needs to be true. Let's take um, the example of a scale. We are going on a diet, we are measuring our, our weight on a scale, and everybody has seen that sometimes the scale uh, gives us a number, we jump in another scale and we have a different number. But we haven't changed our, our weight, we haven't made any extra exercise or go to anywhere, so our weight has not changed. So what of these two values is the true one? That is what we need to define with the gauge R&R. Or years ago, I was working for a plastic uh, parts manufacturer and these guys were or we were putting all all the the material that was in bulk in in a scale and we count uh, based on the reference uh, weight and and we write the quantity and we ship we find out year later one year later due to an error in the scale or in the scales that we were using we lost or we overship $150,000. Pretty much money for a scale that was uh, not calibrated, that was not uh, properly evaluated. The gauge r, &R a goal, the main goal is to mitigate the risk of making a, a wrong decision, okay? When we are gonna about to launch a new product, all these new measurement equipments needs to be evaluated with the gauge r, r We need to have this uh, gauge r, r in a in a good uh, number for production because that is what is gonna give us a robustness on our process. And of course, if we are gonna validate our measurement system. What is a measurement system? Because the, the manual that, that we have is called measurement system analysis. So what is a measurement system? Measurement system is, is everything that measures. What is everything that measures? Is the person, is the device, is the part, is the nest, is, is everything that is involved in the measurement process. We have here the manual of uh, MSA. Right now we are in the five revision. And it, this is the best manual that is on the market to 
use as a reference. So keep that in mind. If you have a chance, get it because it's, a, it's an excellent tool for uh, gate charnar, for, for making gate charnar, for any questions that you may have. Excellent tool. Remember that the ultimate, ultimate goal that we have in the study of gate charnar is to define if the measurement system is appropriate and if it's okay, if it's performing uh, properly. Okay. Now we are going to review basic concepts. We need to know four basic concepts uh, for measurement system. That is the bias, stability, linearity, and discrimination. What is the bias? Bias is, is that our measurements are shift from the target. So if we are throwing darts, like we are doing here, uh, if, if the, the center is the target. So if you are uh, shifted to one side, you have bias. So your measurement system may face bias. What is stability? Stability is very important because our measurement system needs to have, it's going to have variation, but this variation needs to, needs to be constant, cannot be with ups and down or, or cycles or curvatures, needs, needs to be stable through the time. Linearity. What is linearity? Linearity is um, the relationship between a value in x and value in the y axis. So, if we coming back to the scale example, if I'm going to uh, take a reference weight of 10 kilos and I have a super ultra nice uh, scale, lab uh, scale this uh, measurement of 10 kilos needs to be the sh same in my production scale that in my lab scale. So if I go to 20, it should be 20 and so on and so forth. So that should be a line, a line. So it cannot have some sort of curvature. That is the concept of linearity. Discrimination. Discrimination is, is very key. Uh, measurement because uh, if you don't have a proper discrimination you are going to have uh, a wrong values or incomplete values or incomplete analysis of, of your gate charnar. Discrimination is the ability of your measurement system to uh, measure infractions uh, of the parameter that you are studying. So what we recommend, well, we the books recommend, the manuals recommend, is have a minimum of 110. That means uh, that your respect is going to, needs to be divided at least in 10 parts. Uh, and these this, uh, small uh, parts, uh, your measurement system should be capable to measure them. The, the recommendation is, is to have uh, 20, uh, your respect divided in 20 but if, if it can be more is excellent so uh, these are the basic concepts the bias the stability the linearity and discrimination but there is two more that always we ask what means this r and r from the gauge r and r what is r and r well this r and r is um, repetibility and reproducibility and the intention of that uh, repetibility is uh, that the variation in the input data over time to a fixed target so we need to uh, be able to repeat the measurement the, re the repeatability we often call a retest or the, the uh, retest error. So uh, is when we measure the same unit with the same instrument by the same inspector. So what is the other R, the reproducibility? That is the agreement between the result of different um, people, different uh, location and different instruments. So the part that we are measuring 
is not changing. So the, the, um, the measurement of this part needs to be able to be reproduced in a different uh, instrument with a different uh, technician uh, in a different location. Okay, let's review the different types of RNRs. Uh, first, we need to refresh from basic statistics that we talk about two types of data. There is the continuous data and the attribute data. Continuous data, there is always a value through the scale, such as temperature, volume, uh, weight, and attributes. Attributes are based on a characteristic of characteristic of the product and are going to be uh, pass or fail or could have another classification but always based on a characteristic. Very good. So, for the continuous data, we have four types of gauge RNR. First one and the most known is the cross gauge RNR. Is these um, parts, usually are 10 parts, that you measure with three operators, three times, that is the cross. It's, it's cross because you are crossing the parts from one operator to the other, or one machine to the other, and that is the, the gauge RNR cross, the most well-known gauge RNR, the one that requires most of the automotive companies for the approval of the new products. Then is the nest. The nest uh, gauge RNR is for destructive tests. So, is a um, different type of, of gauge RNR. You are not going to be able to have, uh, is, is not a gauge RNR, it's just a gauge R because you cannot have, uh, a, the, you, you can do the repeatability but not the reproducibility because you already uh, destroyed the parts. Then um, there is another one not, not so well known that is the expand. The expand is similar to the cross, but um, it is a new concept that Minitab brings uh, since uh, version 17. And in this uh, type of gauge RNR, they, they give us the opportunity to test not only operators and not only parts. You can, take, uh, you can test different instruments, different uh, routine tests, different nests in the case of, of uh, test equipment, so you can add more factors to the uh, cross gauge RNR. So it's very useful, uh, very easy to analyze, and, and it's a good tool. And the last one for, for continuous data is the type one. Type one um, gauge RNR is uh, for cases, very special cases, when you have a referent, uh, or a master part that is only one, that's why it's called type one, it's only one, and you are gonna measure it multiple times. You don't have uh, multiple master parts, you have only one, and this only one is gonna be measured many, many times. Uh, the manuals recommend 80, a minimum of 50 is what is commonly used, and and this is the type one. All these has or is going to have a different uh, video that you can uh, see to go in detail for each one. Okay, we talk about the continuous data gauge RNR. What about the attribute data gauge RNR? This is very common for inspector vision test and some test equipment that only offers an output of pass fail or some uh, uh, other uh, characteristic but not a uh, continuous value. In these cases we are going to have the attribute agreement analysis that is also provided by Minitab that it is going to give us a percentage of agreement of the operator against himself and the operator versus the um, standard. And uh, that is not only for operator, can be used for, as I said, vision test or any other tester that is giving us attribute data. So, in this video, we review the idea of gauge RNR. What is the big idea? Remember, we need to have 
reliable data and we need to trust in data and this data is coming from a measurement equipment. So the method to evaluate the, the measurement system is the gate charnar. We also review basic concepts, uh, the bias, the linearity, etc. And we review the different tests of uh, gate charnar. And <clears throat> remember that our main objective here is to make sure that the measurement system is working properly. Thank you for watching. I am Fernando Rodriguez and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the videos. Thank you.